Hello all and welcome back to another session on complex problem solving. If you are a new viewer, please don't overlook to subscribe Target One channel so that you don't omit the addition of future videos. When you have a serious problem, it's important to explore all the things that could cause it. Before you start to think about a solution and let's be honest the world of work is often involved about making choices and clearing up problems. So complex problem solving is one of the top skill set that is in demand in the marketplace and you must count on at least one query while giving interview around the way you dealt with a complicated problem. The demanding situations and hurdles that you face is what makes work interesting. And the way you tackle the problem and the way you use that to improve your client business will eventually help define your career. The key is to see what others can't and to define the problem statement. This may sound obvious but sometimes others can't see the problem because it's not clear. Whatever the situation is, it's important to understand what your manager or client expects. What is the expected outcome? Make sure you have everything clear in your mind before finding a solution. Remember your team would offer a different perspective. So discuss with your team and define a clear problem statement that you all agree on. Don't be afraid to ask opinions of people around you. Someone you know might have dealt with a similar problem and may have some good advice. And if the situation or problem goes beyond your area, make sure you ask for help. Now we would look at how to use fishbone diagram also known as cause and effect diagram to solve a complex problem. We are going to consider that the issue is related to service industry and it's common to use the 4S which stands for surrounding, supplier, systems and skills. Suppose you sell online training courses and your website unexpectedly crashes. Now as the website is down, your first priority will be to make the website up and running as soon as possible. And once that is done, you would use the fishbone technique to find out the root cause to avoid it from happening in the future. So there are four steps as you can see on the screen in order to create a fishbone diagram. The first one is to define the problem statement. Second one is to identify the category related to the problem statement and in our scenario it will be system processes and people. The third step will be to discuss with your team members around each category. And finally you would analyze the results. So this is a template of a fishbone diagram. You can visit canva.com to create one for free. In our scenario the effect section will be why did the website crash and the causes will be related to system human and processes so the goal of this exercise would be to list out the top level ideas that led to the website crash so in order to do that we would use the phi y technique for all the three categories to list out the potential causes the 5Y technique is quite simple and it starts with asking the why 5 times. So as an example, we thought the website crashed because of domain error. So just to give you some context around domain error, the domain, your domain name is the address to your website and if you have invited someone over to your house but didn't give him the address they wouldn't able to find your house the same thing happens with a domain name if people can't find your domain 
they can't find your website and domains do expire so you now may ask the next question why did the domain expire and you may receive a response because the admin did not renew the website so why did the admin not renew the website because he was on leave and there was no backup so now you know the root cause and can agree on a process to have a backup in place when admin is on leave thank you for watching this short video please subscribe to this channel and hit the like icon if you found this helpful